Namaste and welcome beautiful souls and beautiful spirits. This video, we're going to be coming the three ways that I manifest everything in my life. And it's so important to watch this video because the way that you want to do this will actually help you with small manifestations and big manifestations. And if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back any subscribers and welcome any newbies. My name is Sarah Alotebi, for those of you who don't know, and I'm dedicated to making videos on this channel to hold us all accountable to being the best versions of ourselves. And we cover everything. We cover manifestation, meditation, and yoga to hold you accountable to really becoming that truest and most authentic version of you. Now today's video, the three steps are one, Pinterest and visioning. Two, it's consistent and repetitive action. And then three, finally, is going to be trusting and flowing. But there's a different way that I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. So make sure to stay to the end because that will unlock your manifestation powers. Pinterest and visioning. The reason I share this with everybody is because it's so important and it changed my manifestation game. Because as an architect, I'm really good at visioning. But it was only until I started using Pinterest where you get yourself a Pinterest, make a life board. You can make it a secret board if you want or you could share it with everyone else. But you pin the life that you want to have. You pin images of that and photos. Because the biggest mistake and why people stay stuck and believe me, I've been there. So if any of you are feeling stuck right now, you feel like you've gotten yourself in a rut, you can't see clearly and you don't know where it is that you're at or what it is that you want, this is really gonna help you because it helped me when I was feeling that way too. And the reason that you're in that situation and that I discovered myself too is that everything around us is created based on our past manifestations. Think about it, everything that you bought everything that you're wearing, you previously purchased. So it's based on the past, right? So if you keep responding to just what's in your environment, just what you see here now, you'll keep recreating the past. So using this Pinterest technique and using this visioning helps you create based on the future. And that's what you wanna be doing at least 80% of the time, even if you did it 50% of the time, you would see magnificent manifestations come in. But stop responding to your current environment and start manifesting and creating using this visioning technique. And what I do is I will look at those videos. I will feel as if I'm in that image itself. I will feel the feelings of when I got the things that I want and they come into my life as if I have them now. A trick that I use when manifesting my car was that I really wanted a Range Rover Evoque. But the key that I used in this is that you have to be happy with what you have. So I would drive in my car, my old car, with gratitude. And I would sit there and feel as if I was driving the Range Rover and thinking about that manifestation and how good it would feel to be in that Range Rover. I imagine feeling the leather seat on the back of my head. I imagine the steering wheel with the logo on it. I imagine driving down the road and how great it would feel in my brand new car. But I was doing this in my old car. So I was sitting there ignoring the reality of the situation and manifesting as if I was in that car. And what I also did was use the Pinterest board. So I would pin photos of the car that I wanted, even the colors, everything so that I could visualize and remind myself of that manifestation as if it were my reality now. Now moving on to the second point, consistent and repetitive action. Now the reason I say repetition is because a lot of people want to change their reality and manifest a new reality, but you're not willing to change your beliefs. You're not willing to change the way you think and the way your subconscious mind works. And that is the key to manifesting what you want. Because I don't know if you've ever been there before, but say you keep attracting the same person, the same type of person into your life over and over again. And you think because you've done something new, you've gone outside of your comfort zone maybe, or you've done something else that you've manifested a different type of person. But then you have the same problems and the same issues come up. Maybe it's that you date someone and it's always at the one month or the two month mark that things just stop and don't seem to be working out, right? You keep manifesting that same pattern over and over again and it's because you're not working to change those internal beliefs and those internal habits. 
And one of the best ways that we know how to do that is through repetition. And that's why affirmations are so successful. But taking this consistent action and using repetition changes your subconscious beliefs. So that's why I make sure to consistently, if I listen to a video and I find it really, really good, I will listen to that video five times, 10 times until I truly, truly understand the message. If I read a good book and I find it helpful, I will go back to that book and I will keep reading it because you might not get the message the first time. Have you ever watched a video or a movie and then gone back and watched it again and realized that there were some things that you didn't see before that were new? that you received in a different way. It's the same when it comes to repetition and repeating information that you read, information that you see. Because you're of a different consciousness state after you watch it or read it the first time, you receive messages differently the next time. So it's crucial that you take consistent and repetitive action to change those beliefs, to receive that information that you want so that you can create the life that you want to manifest around you. And then finally, moving on to the last stage, which is trusting and having faith. And guys, I want to remind you because these techniques, right, I've used them for small things and I've used them for big things. The reason I want to share this with you is because I get asked this a lot because people around me always wonder why, like I could be talking about something one week and then the next week it just manifests. Even this past few weeks, I manifested a new blender that I wanted. I manifested a new bag that I wanted and these were given to me as gifts. I didn't even go out and buy them. It was so strange how it happened to other people, but to me, it's very clear because I follow these steps, these three steps, and I do it consistently without attachment to the outcome. And it helps when manifesting small things like that blender and things like that, or big things and also money. I've been able to use this to manifest money that will come into my life through different clients and different pieces like that. So make sure to listen to these three steps because they can help you manifest all the areas and all the things that you want in your life. And the third step is trusting and having faith and flowing with the universe. And I've seen this so many times with a lot of people around me when it comes to manifestations because they start questioning, when is this going to come? And the truth is with trusting and flowing is that you need to not be using your mind because your mind is a 3D creation. What you want to do is notice the difference between intuition and your mind, right? Your intuition is not the calculated mind. When you start thinking about something and you start balancing it up and analyzing, that is the mind. And that is when your monkey brain can get in and start causing mayhem when it comes to your manifestations. So being able to tap into that intuition and recognizing it because it's based on feeling. It's based on feeling it has nothing to do with your brain getting involved and trying to balance out the equation or trying to keep you safe from these pieces. It's about how it makes you feel. So trusting that feeling and taking that consistent action is what's gonna bring in those manifestations so much faster. So I hope this helped you guys. Make sure to hit that like button, share it with anyone you think it can help, and don't forget to subscribe because I'm dedicated to making videos on this channel to hold us all accountable to being the best versions of ourselves, guys. But for now, take care. I'm sending you so much love and so much gratitude for being on this channel. This channel has completely changed my life in 2020 and now going into 2021, and I'm so excited for what the future holds, and I'm so blessed and grateful for you to all be on this journey with me. So take care, namaste, and I will see you soon.